On the lab today, you're going to examine five glaciers that have been studied extensively by the USGS, the United States Geological Survey. You need to have a little background to understand what's happening. Glaciology and climatology. Studying glaciers allows for us to have a window into the past. And the reason is because snow, when it falls as a snowflake, captures a kind of snapshot of the atmosphere. In other words, what the composition of the atmospheric gases were at the time the snow fell. Therefore, drilling a core into the ice in Greenland, for example, and pulling up ice that came from snowflakes that fell 10,000, 30,000, 50,000 years ago, lets you know what the atmosphere was like back then. This is how we know, for example, that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has changed in its overall composition, its constituency over time. That's one of the ways we know. The Industrial Revolution began in the 1750s and industrialization has progressed across essentially the entire planet over the last 270 years. And that has caused an increase in greenhouse gases, particularly carbon dioxide, but others like methane as well, because industrialization has been driven by burning and using fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas. And by burning those fossil fuels, we have dumped these greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. That raises temperatures. And when you raise temperatures, ice melts. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Glacial ice doesn't have a political party. Once it reaches 32.1 degrees Fahrenheit, it's going to begin to melt. That's what's going to happen. And we are definitely losing glacial ice on the planet. And changes of just a few degrees in either direction, up or down, can have profound impacts climatologically.